What up, YouTube? It's your Warrior Off Band back with another reaction. All right, we will be checking out every money down throw from Jared Goff versus the Cowboys. All right, what is a money down? If you have a quarterback that's converting on third downs, they won't get the money. <laughs> that's just what it is. That's what a money down is. It's the third down throw. So in this game, all right, third downs, Jared Goff has completed seven of them. There's seven plays where he has thrown it on third down. I don't know if they're completions. I don't know if they're drops. That's why we don't watch the film, so let's get it. All right, first quarter, 1041 on the clock, third and five. Let's run it. We got 11 personnel, one back, one tight end. We got four by one alignment. Jared Goff, Jared, oh, this is a, oh, you got to be. That's a, that's a, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, just y'all, okay, when I break this down, all right, let me, listen to me, all right, you know, that, that that's third and five, okay, so you, you, you're expecting, you know, maybe if he does convert it, you know, f, you know, maybe f, six, eight, ten yards, okay, cool, his first third down of the game, his first, I'm sorry, his first money down of the game, is a 42 yard conversion. <laughs> cha ching, cha ching. Let's get it. Let's get it. There's a reason why y'all paid this boy. Goodness. Rams, what were y'all thinking? <laughs> All right, here we go. So we got, just for y'all know, let me give you the uh, terminology so, I, so you can understand how I'm looking at the field. We have the ball on this hash, so this is boundary, this is field side, okay? Boundary side, the ball's on this hash. That hash is closest to the out of bounds. That's why I re refer to it as boundary. The opposite side, all that space or all that field, that's the field side. And it's a perfect alignment for this kind of situation and, this, and where the ball is placed at. We have one, two, three, four. Four eligible receivers. These are eligible guys that can catch the ball on the field side by one so this is a four by one a receiver alignment there's one guy who can catch the ball on the boundary side and it's spread oh they spread out wow and it's 11 personnel so look at this this is unique because you don't have laporta on the line of scrimmage to help out with blocking so dallas looks like they have one two three we got three down linemen four or five so two linebackers or, or edges standing up so they could either blitz or play coverage oh man we got middle foot closed this looks like some kind of man coverage so let's see golf oh oh, oh were they bringing heat one two three four five six they might bring six no he's not is he blitz oh he blitzing oh he's coming at job so the running back sees it he picks it up it's man coverage clearly. And Jared Goff took a shot to Tim Patrick. <sighs> wow. You know what? Damn. Damn. I have to give this one to Jared Goff. I really do. I really do. Like, didn't you guys recently pick up Tim Patrick? So Jared Goff is in the is in the, the 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 he's showing up to to practice early for, I mean, he's maybe the first one there and the last one to leave because for him to have this much confidence in the receiver they just picked up <laughs> not too long ago obviously before the season started but he wasn't on the roster not too long you know during the uh, training camp i believe actually let me see when did he come on the roster the broncos cut patrick august and then the Detroit Lions picked him up right after that, bro. Okay, so he started in August with the team. And on the most critical play, the first third and five of the game against Dallas, down three, <laughs> Jerry Goff connects with them on a 42-yard ball? Come on now. Dude, all right, we got to break down the route. This is, this is beautiful work. This is beautiful work. So first, let's look at so let's look at Tim Patrick's route. He is off. He is outside the numbers. So outside the numbers, defense uses these numbers to help them kind of like predict receiver routes. You know, if he's outside the numbers, is he really gonna do an out route? He might, but you have the boundary to help you. So you have to worry about posts, 
up inside, you know, that's a post, I'm sorry, maybe a dig. Most of his threats are inside because he is outside the numbers. So this, the, the corner's playing him. He's giving this man outside leverage. You can have anything outside, I want you going inside. So Tim Patrick's running. He hit him with a double move. He hit this man with a double move. And Jared Goff is already releasing the football. Dude. <laughs> I'm sorry. That is one hell of a money down. Jared Goff is worth all the monies. <laughs> so let's see. Look at his drop. He's turning his helmet. He's keeping the free safety honest. And he goes back to Tim Patrick and loads up. He threw this thing with anticipation. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. And he gave his boy Tim Patrick a shot. He gave this man a he gave this man a chance because they got that report in practice. What a money down, bro. Let's get to the next one. Second quarter, 14-14 on the clock. It's third and 13. Damn, bro. And we got a short pass middle uh to to Gibbs for three yards so they end up wow punting after this and this is why it's called the money down bro if you don't convert on these you're either punting oh actually they kicked the field goal are you kicking field goals right in this situation because in the red zone but let's imagine if they're on their own 10 yard line they're punting that's why bro you have to convert on the money downs and the quarterbacks that do that the play callers that do that win Super Bowls. So let's see, because I did see this game in my uh, display in my reaction. I was questioning this one. You know, third and 13, it must have been the fact that uh, maybe they got the ball at halftime, so they're being a little conservative, knowing that they got three, right? Don't show all your cards, but, you know, try to score. So let's see here. We have personnel wise, we have 11 personnel, one back. Uh, one tight end, we got the three receivers, okay. And let's see, Dallas is matching this with one, two, three, four down linemen. So some kind of nickel package, right? Which is five DBs, which makes sense because it's third and 13, right? But we got empty, so Dallas is showing us their cards. Anytime you come out in this kind of formation, formation is super important. The way you present yourself is how the defense is going to present themselves, right? They coming out in empty. So what does that tell the defense? This is a pass. There's no one behind Jerry Goff. <laughs> so the defense is going to go ahead and present themselves with a defense for a pass. So I like the concept, you know what I'm saying? Show out empty, you know, but have it actually be a run for Jameer Gibbs. Um, and we have Tim Patrick and Brown, okay, over here to block. So we get the motion, it's zone coverage. And we get the toss, right? So number wise, let's see. Let's see. I mean, I don't, this is, yeah, this is just one of, this is just one of those plays where it's like, <laughs> you know, it's a Jared Goff third down completion though because of what he does. He, you know, tosses the ball forward. You know, if he tosses it back, that's when it's capacity. But this is a this is a forward pass, boom. You know what I'm saying? That's considered a, a pass from Jared Goff for three yards. So, you know, oh, I mean, he's probably this. Let's check out the end zone view. Maybe he could have cut up. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, because there's a lot of ladies that watch my video. Shout out to y'all. Uh, this is what the Detroit Lions are doing, right? They come down. They see, hey, I want all the money downs. I want to know how we are performing on third downs. And they all get together and they talk strategy. Next time we run this play. Gibbs, I need you to look for this. I need you to look for that. You know, this is what this is what our teams are doing. So he hands it. I mean, this is the hole right here, right? If he would have cut up here, bro, this would have been nasty. That probably would have been that part would have been the first down. But instead, he went around, right? Why didn't you cut inside on this one? Let's see if there's a little bobble by Goff. Let's see. It's all the details. No. Yeah, if he would have cut up. Woo, 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 and that's tape. 
That's tape, man. If he would cut up, this would have been something. Let's get to the next one. I'm gonna go ahead and speed these up because we got like five more to do. So we got second quarter, 7, 24 on the clock. It's third and nine. And we have a short uh, pass right to Raymond for seven yards. Damn, almost the first down. Run it. We got empty again. We got 11 personnel. And we got another screen. Right? Wow. I like it. Just like the previous concept, right? Let's go out here and let's, you know, it's it's an obvious passing down, 39, but let's let's run a, like a screen. Let's reset the line of scrimmage, you know? And they're playing off this time. And look, we have we have a mug look. All right, that's just that's like a it's like a how the defense presents themselves when it's a uh 4-2 front, right? When we have the two linebackers playing like the uh the one gaps or, or the one text but anyway let's see here so we got or well, the hands are in the dirt but that's anyway so we got um empty formation we got everyone playing off right we got six in the box damn and i like it right they show an aggressive look so you hit them with a screen screens are very good against aggressive defenses or aggressive uh formations Right, and we hit, we hit right here, boom. We got block, block. Khalif took it up. Wow. Maybe he could have ran out. Like maybe he could have ran this way, outside the numbers, instead of going inside, you know? But hey, seven yards on the 39, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a, it's not, it's not a, First down, but hey, it's a positive down. You kicking a field goal. So I'm calling it money down. Let's get to the next one. Second quarter, 439 on the clock. All right, 17-3. They're in their own red zone. It's 39, and Goff gets sacked for eight yards. Run it. All right, so we got shotgun formation. We got motion over, 39. Damn. Wow, that, wow, that was... An incredible pass rush. Look at this, y'all. This was... Wow, okay. Dallas, you know, hey. This is what the film does. This is what this is what your coaching staff is doing. If you have a good coaching staff, they're not just looking at the positives. They're looking at the negatives. You know what I'm saying? They want to see everything so they can understand when we see this front again, when we play this team again, this is the stuff we got to do, man. These guys are making millions of dollars. They are sitting down. They are watching tape. So let's see here, Dallas again with this unique front. And Dallas is gonna do the same. They're like, hey, we like this formation. But anyway, we got one, two, three, four down linemen. They're down linemen because their hands are in the dirt. That's how you know they're down linemen. And then we have one, two, two linebackers standing up. So they can either blitz or they can go back in coverage. And we got this guy uniquely looking like he's blitzing and that's a corner. So let's see what, or a strong safety. So let's see what this is. We got the motion. Ooh, but if he, yeah, if he's blitzing. Okay, let's see. Oh, he's, yeah, he's definitely blitzing. He's definitely blitzing. Wow, we get a gap. You can't have a gap. You get a, you get a gap penetration. Your quarterback's not, not he's not going to survive on third downs. <laughs> you can't get the a gap penetration. So when I refer to a gap, anything next to the center, any gap next to the center, this is the center. A, A, B, B, C, C. You get a gap penetration. That quarterback's cock has to hurry up, <laughs> you know? So watch this, watch this. Yeah, damn. Damn, that A gap penetrate. That's that's the one that golf had to speed up. Mm, mm, mm. Actually, it wasn't that guy. It was ninety. It was the other guy. This dude. Boom! Look at that pass rush. Do do do. The center didn't know who to help out on. He thought his boy had him. I mean, he did a good job. But damn, Dallas, that that's a bad job on this one. Let's get to the next one. Hey, if you're still with me, put take, don't lie in the comment section below. So far, we have converted one out of four money downs. 
Statistically, that's not good. But y'all, look at the scope. <laughs> look at the scope. 33 to 6. This is a touchdown on third down. All right, so basically, let's change that to now. We have two out of six when it comes to money downs. But the first one was a 42, and, a, and, and the lot, this one right here, the sixth one, was a damn touchdown for 37 yards. But anyway, if you know the score is 33 to 6, so that's, that's telling me something. That's telling me that I need to start spending money on the Detroit Lions. They don't get into third downs. They have a coaching scheme system that's working so good. They don't need third downs, bro. Wow. Let's break down the tape. Run it. So let's see here. We have 11 personnel, one back, one tight end. Oh, this is the one. This is the one I broke down. This is the one I already broke down. This was the one I already broke down, man. All right. I have a link to that video in the comment section below. Third quarter, 6-12 on the clock. It's third and six. They on the, the, the Dallas six-yard line. But Goff gets sacked for nine yards. Run it. We got 11 personnel, one back, one tight end. We got the motion. How's he? Oh, they brought. Oh, they. Oh. Oh, defense was desperate. The defense was desperate. Look at this, y'all. They brought the house. This looked like a max blitz where you bring the maximum amount of players you can. <laughs> All right. That's where the max blitz is. I mean, look, we have one, two, three, four down linemen. Uh, five, and that's linebacker. Five, six. Two linebackers, and then we got some kind of nickel, right? Yeah, only two linebackers in the game. So this is a cover five, but we got the strong safety. So let's see if they bring one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then it's not a max blitz. You know what I'm saying? But it's a it's a lot of people. <laughs> let's see. Damn, bro, they brought. No, it's not right. It's not max blitz because we still got four in coverage. We got four in coverage, but this is he. So let's see here. Who had? Who do you have? Ooh, this is a simulated blitz. Now remember, for the offense, this is the money down. For the defense, this is also the money down. This is where defensive coordinators get paid, right? Can you bring some exotic blitzes? on third and six and get to the quarterback. Boom. So Laporta is acting like he's on block, but he ends up playing. Yeah, okay, so look at this. Damn, look at this. So this is very, this is a very effective look against a five-man front. You got the nose tackle, right? Read the offensive line. This is zero, this is two, this is three. This is a three, no, I'm sorry. This is zero, this is two, this is four. This guy's playing a three tech. This guy's playing a three tech. This guy's playing a nose, zero tech. So when this motion happens from Laporta, they're, they're tricking, wow. They're trying to trick golf to making them think that they're playing some kind of coverage, but they're basically motion over to bring blitz, to bring heat. They actually tricked the O-line. Because now, pass coverage-wise, they don't. These guys are playing straight up. They're not. They're not accounting the linebackers bringing the heat. And damn it, they brought. They brought a double A gap blitz. Damn, golf turned his head. Was like, oh shit, <laughs> I ain't seen that kind of blitz before. <laughs> but shout out to golf. This is the money down. You up thirty-four to, to nine. Don't throw it away. Don't make any dumb decisions. Take a sack. Shout out, to, shout out to golf on this one. Let's get to the next one. This is currently fourth quarter, 14.55 on the clock, 37 to nine, bro. It's third and eight. I'm expecting some kind of screen. Let's run it. Third, I'm sorry, third and 18. This should be some kind of screen. And it was. Smart. Smart. Right? Smart. Beautiful. Beautiful, right? You're up 37 to nine, all right? Fourth quarter, 14.55 on the clock. Third and 18, take the two points, right? <laughs> but but try to score and you know, they run a, a simple screen. So, so far, 
All right, the Lions for this game have completed two out of seven third downs or money downs. So like I said, what does that tell me? That's a horrible percentage, but let's be honest. They've only had seven damn, they only had seven total third downs. Bro, that's a team that is clicking on, that's an, that's an offensive explosion. That's exactly what everyone's been seeing. And this is exactly why everyone is like, Ben Johnson is that guy, man. Jared Goff is that guy. This team has a chance to do some big things. So I'm going to go ahead and spread a little spread on y'all, bro. <laughs> Let me know y'all thoughts in the comment section below. Please subscribe for more content. I'll see you on my next one. I'm out. Deuces.